And and all this brings me to like your your most your most recent iteration of Captain America, uh, Captain America, which is still going strong. Just this time, a little bit more beefier, a little bit more muscular. With uh, each iteration adding its own flair, and then leading up to uh, this like perfected suit by Unmasked Studio. When you're wearing this suit, you kind of have like a different vibrato about you, like a different aura about you. Like when you put on this iteration of Cap, you look like you have more. I don't know if confidence is the right word. Maybe it's more that you feel more comfortable when rocking this version. Uh, does any of that ring true? Like, does this suit bring out the cap in you more than any of your others? Dude, you're, you're the best, you know? You're, you're <laughs> telling me questions that I had in my mind forever. Really? And you're right. You're right. In this version, this last version, I, I feel more comfortable. I feel more you can Captain see America. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, you know, and, and that's one of my favorite versions. Yeah. Mm, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Side Project Podcast. Yes! Let's take a sip from our Run It Up mugs. Mm. Oh, it tastes so good. It tastes so good. And it feels so good to be back. Because I've been sick, but bear with me if uh, throughout any of this I end up coughing because you know how like after you get sick for a while, it kind of lingers a little bit, you know what I mean? You kind of still got like a little bit of cough that lingers or something. That's that's what's going on, but I'm good now. I'm feeling good and uh, we're all good. And speaking of good, that sip from my run it up mug was absolutely amazing. Much like this uh, crew neck that's also absolutely awesome. I'm try- I'm going like this, trying to block trying to be like, why can't I see it? But it's this hand. You know how it goes. Monitors, or maybe you don't. Uh, All of the awesome stuff that you see here on the table, me rocking, is always available on the Side Project merch store right about now, such as this Run It Up mug, all the mugs, the Project Park mug, the Project Things mug, and not just the mugs, but the Run It Up, the Project Park, and the Project Things hoodies and tees, and some of them got hats, and and some, I think there's beanies up there now too, and there's, uh, there's tanks up there, there's crew necks up there, there's all kinds of stuff up there that you can get right about now, such as if you didn't see on Instagram, the Project Hub, the new Project Hub merch that's out right now. I'm rocking the hoodie. You could be rocking the hoodie. You could be rocking the tanks for the summertime. <laughs> Looking all amazing in the Project Hub tank, right? Let it all show out. Kind of feels like something that Project Hub would be happening. Letting it all, just bearing it all. You could be getting that right now if you head on over to the Side Project merch store and cop that merch. You know, I appreciate you if you do. Um, Whether you're a uh, a cosplayer yourself, just a fan of cosplay, a photographer, a videographer, a prop maker, or maybe you're just a convention goer that loves to get their steps in while going, oh my God, there's Spider-Man. You're probably going to want to attend Cosplay World in Richmond, Virginia, where cosplay reign supreme this june 15th and 16th at the greater richmond convention center you can be a part of a convention that caters to you with over 100 vendors and artists contests for you to partake in for a chance to win over two thousand dollars in cash and prizes learn from the pros in the mini workshops all weekend long attend and be a part of panels Hint, hint, pose like the beast that you are for the photo ops. There's also meet and greets and hangs and discuss things with the many guest cosplayers from around the world. Like who? Well, hold on. I'll tell you. Many that have been guests and or cosplays of the week here on the show, such as Caleb Weeks, Joey Redhood, Sir Julius Cosplay, That Shady Hayes, RLHNYC, Heroes for Hire, just to name a few, and so many more. Plus, I'll be there myself in full effect in various capacities. More info coming soon. So get your tickets now at cosplayworldrichmond.com and set yourself up for a good time June 15th and 16th. And when you do, make sure you tap it in, you lock it in, you run it up, and let them know that the Chazasaurus Rex sent you. Ah, that felt good. Anyway, 
Ah, let's get to the bread and the butter of this week's episode because my guest this week puts his efforts into a motto of cosplay is more than just dressing up. It's about embodying a character and bringing them to life. And he does so when he looks up at the sky and he sees the bat signal in his various iterations of Gotham's own Batman, whether it's his leather fashion valley suit, his classic black with the yellow symbol by Unmasked Studio, or bringing that gray suit to life with the help of Gaslight Co. He's ready to take on his rogues gallery as the Dark Knight, a leader in DC. And it's only right when he takes up a mantle in Marvel, he takes up another who stands for something, who aims to lead, who's ready to make sure he has America's ass at all times with his amazing iteration of Captain America. He's been a previous cosplay of the week here on the show, so it's a long time coming. Hailing from Puerto Rico, ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together and give a warm welcome to O.B. Arkham. <laughs> Amazing, brother. How's it going, man? How's thank it going? Thank you, thank you. Uh, I felt good, man. man, for being sick for like a month. I felt, I felt good. I was worried I was going to start coughing during and be like, ladies and gentlemen, uh, 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 I felt like I was going to die during that intro, but no, I, I, I did good. I was worried about that. How, how you doing, man? Everything good, brother. Everything good. Thank you for bringing me here to the show. Oh, yeah, man, dude. It has been a long time coming, man. This has been, you've been, you being a guest on the show has been in the vault for such a long time. It's long overdue, man. Long time coming, man. And and I'm happy to finally have you here, dude. Let's uh, let's get into it, man. Let's dive right into it, dude. Uh, w- w- within the cosplay community, man, I'd say that you're kind of, you're most known for your various Batman cosplays. But I want to take a surprising turn. I want to press pause on Batman for a second, visit that topic later in the show, and open the convo on your Captain America, actually, uh, because I did some digging, a deep dive on your Instagram. And though you have many variations of uh, Batman, as far as, 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 as your IG goes, at least, one of the first cosplays that you posted was actually Cap in 2019, um, a different version, a couple different versions that, that all eventually lead up to your most recent iteration. But I'm curious, how did you get your start in cosplay to begin with? And was it Captain America uh, that, you know, started it all for you. It's going to be funny to tell you this, but Captain America is my favorite superhero from all. No, no way. With all the That's Batman iterations you have, you think I that Batman Captain America first. Cap- I got tattoos. I got everything about Captain America. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. You would think that it'd be Bat first and Cap second, but yeah, no, just because Cap- the way your Instagram. Yeah. That's crazy, man. Um, I didn't know what was, cos- what was cosplay in the beginning. Yeah. And I used to dress for Halloween. It's just mm-hmm. um, Ghostbuster. It was my first cosplay ever, if yeah. you count that one. Yeah, that's, that's a, that counts. For, <laughs> it counts. Well, for it does. You know, <laughs> <laughs> I love Captain America, but I never, never imagined in my life, yeah, doing a cosplay of Captain America. It's so high for me, so amazing mm-hmm. that I couldn't do it. You know, mm-hmm. and um, I went to one of my friend's house. Uh, he was gonna dress as Captain America for Comic Con in Puerto Rico. Nice. That was yeah. in uh, 20, 2016. Oh was, damn! Okay, yeah. And uh, 2019, sorry, 2019. Oh, sorry. okay, 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 okay. Uh, 2019. Yeah. So uh, I went to his house just to uh, help him with, um, I remember with what? And you know, Ecto Titan? Uh, yeah. Fernando? Yep, yep. Previous so cosplay he, of the week and guest. Yeah. Yep. He, he was over there helping him with the Captain America suit. Nice. But his Captain America suit doesn't, f- he was skinny with mm-hmm. a big head, man. <laughs> so the helmet, it didn't fit yeah. and the suit, it looks like he need like two zeros, you know. <laughs> yeah, and, I, yeah. and then I open the the house and I hold the the helmet and I say this is cool and I put the helmet on. Ecto Titans look at me and said, "You going as Captain America for coming on?" And it fit the, the helmet fit. Yeah, that fits. damn, that's, that's the fate. Fate. That's, that's, fate. that's that's the picture. That's the first picture. I oh, that's the ever. first one. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's so, cool. So uh, uh, that's how I, I start doing cosplay, you know. Damn, that's crazy. What, what an awesome story. What are the odds that the, that it would fit you just yeah, exactly, perfectly? Man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's meant and, to uh, be, bro. And then uh, I went to the first convention. I fell in love with the community, with with, with sharing this, uh, cap, this um, characters that you love. Yeah. You, you bring it to life. That's amazing. Yeah. You can Did see you? everything in the Comic Con. What was it and, like, uh, like, like that that first feeling of going to the convention as Cap when you like didn't plan plan to do it? I was nervous. It? I was Were nervous. you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I was super nervous. I didn't want to go. Yeah, uh, really? I, I, 
I park and I stay yeah. in the parking like 40 minutes just thinking about it. <laughs> like, should I really do this? Yeah. Am really I Captain this America? I'm oh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> do I, no, you're good. You're good. Do I have America's ass? Can I really yeah. do this? <laughs> so, and, uh, and uh, I'm going to be honest, uh, 100%, uh, you know, mm. Chris Evans, yeah. he looks fit, you know, yeah. he looks big but skinny. Yeah. So that was my first concern. I was like, I don't look like Ah, uh, you're yeah. doing no. the comparison. Like, ah, I don't look yeah, like... I, I know yeah, what you mean. Sucks. I know what you mean, bro. Because people yeah. always tell me like, yo, man, you should cosplay as like this. You should do that. And I'm like, ah, God, I just don't... I don't know, man. Yeah. You do that comparison. You're like, I don't think I could fill the oh, suit man, out can, the way it should be, you know? Yeah, I can kill you, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, man. So, uh, yeah, I went. I went uh, have a freaking amazing time. I met a lot of people. Mm-hmm. And then I said, let me do it next year. So that's how nice. I start. That's how I really nice, start. Man. What a story. That's pretty cool. Just kind of like, kind of fell into it, right? Yeah, besides, exactly. besides obviously the love of like dressing up that was like kind of always in you. You just kind of fell into it. Helmet fit perfectly. perfectly. <laughs> Ecto was like, you're going. Sat in the parking lot for 40 <laughs> minutes, but you ended up going. You did it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's cool as hell, man. That's cool. It, it looks like one of the one of the first iterations uh, that you had of the cap suit. It had the uh, Avengers logo on the shoulder there, so I'm going to guess that it was MCU inspired. But but then a little bit later on, you also had this more uh, bulkier look. And I say bulkier because it's like a little bit more armor in a way, if you will. It's 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 more plated, if you will. It's like a plated vest over your chest. You know what I mean? Because you got to protect those breasts. They're fragile. It's okay. I know. I know what it's like. Uh, yeah. In some, in some versions, you have the classic red, white, and blue shield, while in other versions, you're rocking the more just like the blue and the silver. Uh, what were you going for with this like plated look? Like, What did you take inspiration from? Was it the movies, the comics, the games, a, a, a mix and match of your own ideas? Like, what, what, what was the process with that? So the process was I went to the first Comic-Con dressed as Chris Evans, Captain America. Yeah. And I saw the pictures. I was like, I, I, like, I like it. But it doesn't feel like my Captain America. Ah, you know, okay, I don't okay. know if you notice uh, all my cosplays. I never dress as uh, I never cosplay as a one hundred percent exactly Ben Affleck or Pattinson. Right. I always got a match. I always you kind of got your own your own ideas thrown yeah. in. Yeah, and that's how I, I fall in, really in love with cosplay. Uh, mm-hmm. The idea you can create your own version and your own multiverse. Yeah, and and I always say cosplay is a multiverse for me. Yeah, cosplayers definitely. they're multiverse. Mm-hmm. You can see different Batmans of different uh, shapes, variations. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. It's like the yeah. movie uh, uh, Ready Player One. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. The Dude, that's such a good different. movie. Yeah, yeah. That's, I'm that's surprised there hasn't been on. a sequel of that movie, by the way. Just <laughs> sidebar, like, what's going on? Like, yeah. yeah, it's a good movie. Yeah, I get, I get what you're saying, though. I get what you're saying. So, yeah. so the plate one uh, was in my house, and I was thinking about next year, next Comic Con. Uh, mm-hmm. I need to do something, but I don't want to dress as uh, Chris Evans. Yeah. So, yeah. Exotype told me, let's, let's make your own. Let's make your own. Start looking at pictures, Pinterest, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Marvel Now, Captain yeah. America. I really yeah. like that version. Yeah. So, that's how everything started. That's pretty cool, dude. You've got this one photo uh, by A Slaps and an edit by Ryan Sims Photography where you kind of got like one foot up, the shield lo- a little bit over the uh, the knee area and everything looking down. And it's just a perfect like, perfect cap photo, dude. I, I dig that one with the plated vest and everything. Yeah. It just, it looks awesome, dude. And then what, what, what's the situation with the shield? Because you are they actually two different shields or is it just the edit? They're, no, no, they're two different shields. Because you got the red, white, and blue one, and then you got and then, the yeah, blue one, yeah. you know? Yeah, because that's pretty cool. if you notice in the plate one, it's mm-hmm. more blue yeah. than red. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. And I told uh, Fernando, let's let's make it with the shield, with the blue and gray shield, just to nice, dude, give that yeah. vibe of, uh, of uh, how do you say, like, like special forces mm-hmm. uh, type of Captain right. America. Right, That's yeah, what I tried it- to do. It does kind of match the suit a little bit, a little bit better. It blends in a little bit more. And again, it's kind of like you just adding your own little like twist to it. I mean, Cap has, you know, different variations of his shields, but I'm saying, you know, mixed in with the suit and everything, um, it kind of just, it just adds that little, that OB touch to it, man. I I dig it, dude. I really do dig it. And you don't see stuff like this often. I think if I'm, uh, I don't remember a hundred percent, but I feel like it, uh, the game didn't do that well, but, uh, it was, I think it was Marvel's Avengers, right? Did, I really like that you, Captain America version. Didn't he kind of have an ar- armored version as well? A little bit more yeah, armored? He got than, the armor in the chest and they got the, the uh, pouches in the, yeah, the belly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I really like that one. I kind of, I liked <laughs> it too. I didn't like the game that much. I did play yeah. it. Did you play it? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course I, I played it. It was, it was cool. I, I did the beta when it first came out and um, 
I can't remember. I don't think I liked, I don't think I liked, yeah, I didn't like the beta. I, I played the beta. I didn't like the beta at all. And then, so when the game came out, I was like, nah, I'm not going to play it. Cause I played the beta and the beta was yeah, weak. Yeah. I didn't like it. So I waited. I don't remember how long I waited, but then it became, uh, it came to the, uh, Xbox game pass. And so I was like, oh, you know what? I'll, I'll check it out since I don't got to pay for it. You know what I mean? I, I already yeah. paid for game pass. So I played it and whatever like updates they did and everything, it was actually dope for a little while. I was playing yeah. it for a little while. I was having a little bit of fun. Um, but then after like, I don't remember how far I got, but I got decently far. And after a while though, it started feeling kind of like just the same thing after the, the same, same thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? True, true. But it yeah. was better. It was better than when I played the beta, but after a while it still it started becoming the same thing. But something I always did notice was I, I liked, uh, I liked cap suit. I did like yeah. cap suit. It's not, so it's this, not, this it's not a people's, favorite it, no it's not, yeah yeah but, but i like it a lot yeah 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 it's pretty cool man and 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 all this brings me to like your your most your most recent iteration of captain america uh, captain america which is still going strong just this time a little bit more beefier a little bit more muscular with uh each iteration adding its own flair and then leading up to uh this like perfected suit by unmasked studio always always putting out quality work over there uh the helmet has wings the shield is weathered it's been through some wars ace laps with the beautiful photography here and you guys got this perfect location man that looks like it's just in the moment of battle dude i i love it man and in my personal opinion and i, I may be wrong with this but uh from the from, from what it looks like with the photos alone when you're wearing this suit you kind of have like a different vibrato about you like a different aura about you like when you put on this iteration of cap you look like you have more I don't know if confidence is the right word. Maybe it's more that you feel more comfortable when rocking this version. Uh, does any of that ring true? Like, does this suit bring out the cap in you more than any of your others? And if so, do you think it's like, is, is it, what about this version does that? If so, like, is it your favorite cap suit? Dude, you're, you're the best, you know? You're, you're <laughs> telling me questions that I had in my mind forever. Really? And you're right, you're right. In this version, this last version, I feel more comfortable. I feel more you can Captain see America. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, you know, and and that's one of my favorite versions. Nice. Uh, I still, I still feel that I have to do another one, another one. Nice. I got that in my God. You know, with Batman is it's another yeah. thing. It's another world. But with yeah. Cap, I feel I need to do at least one more. What are you thinking? Uh, though? What, feel, where do you where do you go from here? You did, you did the, you know, Chris Evans in the beginning, you got the plated yeah. version and then you've got the unmasked studio version that's, that's bringing that confidence and comfortability. Yeah, sorry, sorry. No, no, I, go ahead, I, go ahead. I, I want to try to do something in, in the war, you know, in that time. Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I, I wanted blue, brown, leather. Nice, okay, I get you, yeah. That, that, that vibe. Yeah, hell yeah, so dude. That's, that's that one of my sick. ideas, but we'll see. Hell yeah, oh, yeah, man. Yeah. I, you're you're I, right, man. You're you're freaking awesome, man. <laughs> it's, hey, man, it's you, you man. Question, man. And I was like, yeah, it's <laughs> Hey, man, it's you. I it comes. I, I'm just looking at it and 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 feeling the vibe from from the photo. You know what I mean? And that's the vibe that I got from the photo. And I noticed that. And I was just like, man, like I can I can feel like the Captain America in you when you're rocking this, you know? And then of course it's like also, I mean, ma major props to Ace Laps, you know, beautifully capturing you as well, setting the tone and setting the mood that much more. And then of course, Unmasked Studio bringing the suit to life, you know what I mean? Making, yeah. ma helping to make you look even even more like Captain America. You got the awesome boots by Tilly Effects and the mm. helmet the helmet wings by Strong in costume. Like it's just, yep. it's perfectly done, dude. Who's the, who's the shield by? Is the shield by? The shield is, is just a Marvel alien. That oh, okay, I got you. Yeah. Here. Okay, I got, I got you. Did you weather it yourself and stuff, or what no, did it come like that? Titan, man. That's that's my uh, my my cosplay factory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, man. You guys, you guys pulled this off, dude. And and I just said you 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 radiate that Captain America energy in these photos, dude. And and, and I really dig it. You know what I like too is like the I've always liked that version of Cap that has the uh, like straps. The straps, the straps, dude. Yeah, me too. It just, me too. It just brings that like it accentuates your body a little bit too. I feel exactly, like it makes you yeah. stand up yeah. straighter and just you know helps with the muscles and everything. It just looks dope, dude. And it's yeah, like a, it it's a it's a great it's a great Cap, man. And like like I was saying like you you have so many different batman um iterations dude and they're all phenomenally done and we're gonna talk about them momentarily but uh i personally felt like and maybe it's a little bit of just uh, uh you know people idolizing or you know i don't know if idolizing is the right word but liking or, or enjoying your batman content and then a little bit of like you yourself posting so much batman content that i felt like man we got to talk about some cap you know what i mean like we got to give <laughs> cap some love dude like i, I really dig it man and 
And uh, like I said, I want to talk to you about um, your, 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 your Batman cosplays and everything. But before we do that, I think it's time to uh, break up the monotony. Let's get into this week's Cosplay of the Week. Oh, and this week's Cosplay of the Week is none other than Cat. Spidey 614, and it's technically Captain Spidey 614, and I'm throwing it up on the screen right about. Mm, let me get my Captain America shield. Ah, now, and this is of his Captain America, but it's Bucky Barnes Captain America. It's the Winter Soldier Captain America. It's Captain Bucky or Bucky America. I don't know, but it's absolutely amazing, man. Uh, this is this is also, by the way, this is a long time coming. This is a very long time coming. Captain Spidey has been in the vault since I was in the womb. Like, that's how long. Did the podcast even exist back then? It didn't. But he was in the vault since then. Trust me. Uh, this is absolutely amazing, dude. Captain America, Bucky Barnes, uh, no no cow, no mask, no helmet, whatever you want to call it exactly. Uh, you got the suit looking absolutely amazing. You got the straps going down. You got the Winter Soldier arm, dude, looking absolutely amazing. The gloves and everything as well um, with that shield that is all, all, um, all vibranium, dude. All vibranium with the uh, the red star right in the middle, and it's absolutely awesome, dude. Uh, suit by White Sheep Leather, shield by Shield Maker Twelve, the arm by Arius Legacy Creations, Creations, a previous cosplay of the week way back in the beginning days of the show before it is what it is now. I think he was like cosplay of the week like two or three or something. Like, don't go back and watch it; it's horrible. Um, not him, but the show. Uh, photo by Suit Dot Up Dot Photography, and uh, this was taken at Galaxy Con Columbus, and this is absolutely awesome. And, um, in case, uh, in case you didn't watch the whole episode and you're just watching this on Instagram as a clip right now, we have guest this week, OB Arkham, and we just got done talking about his Captain America. So I think it's kind of fitting to go from one cap to the next cap, but they're different caps and show love from one cap to another. Uh, but if you haven't, like I said, tune in the full episode, and you're just watching this on Instagram, tune in because we've got OB Arkham here. We're talking about his Captain America. We're talking about his Batman. We're getting to know him a little bit, how he got his start and what is going on, what's his future and all kinds of things in between. OB Arkham, the guest this week, uh, we'll hear from Obi in a second here. I want to throw up a uh another photo. Oh by, oh, by the way, um, suit up photography for Captain Spidey's uh, cap here. Amaz amazing shot, dude. Absolutely amazing shot. Uh, blacking out the background and everything, the concrete floor. Uh, it just It's just perfect, dude. And I want to throw up another one and I'm throwing it up right about now. And uh, for a second there, that looked like I was doing Spider-Man stuff, but I was actually doing, I was doing Assassin's Creed, the hidden, the hidden blade. You think that I would I'd be able to pull that off better and not make it look like Spider-Man. But anyway, uh, this is his armor of Brutus from Assassin's Creed, I think it's Brotherhood. Being a, such a big Assassin's Creed fan, I should know this, or I should have done my research before talking about it. But uh, this is absolutely amazing. I think it's from uh, Brotherhood, I believe so. And this is his Ezio. Um, and it's absolutely amazing, dude. He just dropped this not too long ago. Photo by Suda Photography again uh, in that uh, that forestry, foresty like background. I dig it, dude. From head to toe, you got the red hood all the way down to the uh, to the boots and everything. The hidden blade with the leather straps. You got the armor with the Assassino, the logo, the Assassin's Creed logo on there. And it's just it's just perfect, man. With the fur and everything. You know I love the fur. I uh, you know I love the fur. If you've seen my Assassin's Creed cosplay, you know I love the fur, man. And um, from 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 one uh, one assassin to another, dude. Uh, you know, one 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 assassin standing for the brotherhood brotherhood to another. This is absolutely amazing, bro. And I really dig this. And and I I got a little sneak peek when he was when he was first putting this together, and I knew it was coming. But uh, I didn't get that super side project special treatment. He just showed me like a piece of it. Showed me like his arm. And I was like I was like, oh damn, it's coming. Uh, but I didn't get to see exactly what it looked like. But absolutely amazing, dude. And I want to throw up one more just before we get out of here uh, because his name is Captain Spidey, so we can't not throw up a ah, there's a spider-man now it's on the screen uh his spider-man in this edit is uh by pixel lens and it's from the spider-man 2 insomniac games um incredible incredible edit by pixel lens dude uh this is his insomniac spider-man with the with the venom symbiote going in uh, uh um coming on or off and on and off and you know how it goes uh suit Shell Lens by the RPC Studio. Uh, original photos by the Night Fury, Fury and that's the dot night dot Fury. And again, uh, edit by Pixel Lens. And I just wanted to throw this up because we can't. He's got Spidey in his name. We can't throw up a Spidey cosplay at least and talk about it briefly, right? Um, so this is this is absolutely amazing, man. Um, before we get out of here, guess this week, Ob Arkham. Uh, do you have anything that you want to add about Captain Spidey's cosplays? I love his freaking shield. Mm. 
Yeah, that I vibranium shield, That's dude. Amazing, man. Yes. I love it. I remember yeah. that picture when you posted for the first time. Yeah, I remember me that too. Picture. Me love too. I, who's the shield by again? I just want to give him credit while we're just talking about Shield Maker 12. Yeah, amazing job, Shield Maker 12. You pulled yes, that off. Yes. And it's just so perfect with One his of like my favorite shields arm. Right there. Oh yeah, me too, dude. It's perfect, man. It's Just, perfect. Dude. It matched with Bucky, and then he's he's doing this version of uh, yeah. MCU Bucky. Yeah, I mean, he can never yeah. gonna be run with that. Perfect, man. It's absolutely perfect. Uh, this is absolutely amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're not following Captain Spidey 614 at Capt, it's C A P T, you know, for Captain Capt dot Spidey dot 614 on Instagram, go follow him right now because Captain Spidey, your Captain America, Ezio, Spider Man cosplay of the week for me and OB Arkham is amazing. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, I said I wanted to talk to you about your um your Batman cosplays, and I do. But before we do that, I want to throw a little bit of a curveball at you, and I want to get into a segment that I like to call Wow Shotgun Questions. And what Shotgun Questions is, is a little bit more of a rapid fire segment that never really ends up being that rapid fire. We always end up having a conversation about things, and that's okay. It's a series of questions that are about like maybe mm, three to four questions, depending on time, depending on guests, depending on the questions that I felt like asking. And uh, they're all fun in games. It's nothing serious. Let's see how much fun we can have when I ask you, starting with, what's a cosplay that you feel you'll unfortunately never pull off for whatever reason that may be, but you've always wanted to do. Is there one on your list? Yeah. The thing. Mean? The thing. Oh, bro. You, oh man. Really? That's I so try, cool. I try foam. I try a muscle suit. Ah, I try a monster suit, but I, I see. I need to see it perfect. You know, it's CGI yeah. in the movies. The yeah. comics, it looks amazing. It's my favorite. Fantastic. Yep. So, uh, I wanted Damn. to do it f for years. I'm not going to lie, Damn, for years. Dude. Yeah, are you opposed to, like, what, what in, in your mind, like, wh what did you want it to look like? Because are you opposed to doing something like what Hummin H2 does, if you know Hummin, or like bearded tattoo guy in Georgia, I think that's his uh, Instagram, or like Cosplay Ben, you know what I mean? Like, those like big, big builds, like, are you opposed to doing something like that, or is that not your style? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. I wanted, I wanted to do it big. I wanted to do it look look real, like a yeah. rock. No, no, uh, no, comic. Yeah. I don't want to do a comic. Yeah. I wanted to do it like I don't know. The, I remember the name in the Thor movie. You know that the other rock guy. Oh, oh, yes. Yeah, I remember the name. I, I know. Name. I don't remember his name either, but I I know who you're talking about. Right, I know. So I oh, wait, 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 it's, wait. Korg. Is it Korg? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That Korg. One, that one, that yeah. I don't know how I got that. <laughs> I, I didn't know how I know the name. Yeah, yeah. Korg. So, yeah. Something like that. I want to do something like that. Something nice. Uh, maybe a monster suit, uh, mm -hmm. pieces of foam. Right. Uh, bringing uh, the rock inside me. Yeah, man. That would be cool, dude. That's dope, yeah. man. You'd make That's a good thing, dude. Ever, man. That's cool, man. I don't see that many thing cosplays. And if I no. do, it's more like the uh, like old school comic, comic version. Comic, yeah. yeah, You know what yeah. I mean? It's not like uh, the big rock or like, you know, CGI-ish yeah. or newer modern day type versions. It's always like the old school, what would be like the 60s version? Is that what is that what it is? I, I guess it would be uh, kind of. Um, I mean, I yeah. Know, I, 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 I'm going to say a story real quick. Yeah. Uh, here in Puerto Rico, I don't know mm -hmm. if in the state, probably in the state because the, the, it, it was a cartoon about the thing. Mm-hmm. Long time ago, long time it. ago, mm -hmm. yeah. And the cartoon, uh, when obviously when I saw it here in Puerto Rico, it was in Spanish. Uh, so yeah. he he was Ben, and he got two rings. So he he put the rings together, and mm -hmm. he become the thing. Oh, it becomes a thing. I yeah. don't remember that. Yeah, it was a long time ago. A long time ago. And dude, I'm old. I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> forty, you know. And uh, every time I remember that cartoon when I was a little kid, and yeah. since that, when I started doing cosplay, I was like, I'm gonna do a thing. Damn, I'm gonna you do gotta it. do it. You gotta I'm do gonna it, do it. Man. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, you gotta make it happen. Already. Yeah, you gotta make it happen. We, we dude, talked you, about you, it on the show. Man. You, you now it has to happen. <laughs> Thank you, man. Put me Thank you, man. You know, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna. I'm Thank gonna you, run man. out of English, man. <laughs> I appreciate it, man. All right, next question. You know this one. Out of these Batman, you've got Keaton, Bale, Affleck, Pattinson. You can only choose one, and the rest and their universe. Cease to exist. Who do you pick? People are gonna kill me. <laughs> Who you got? This, Who this you is got? The most difficult question. Uh, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer. I got mm -hmm. an answer. 
I'm going to start saying that I love every single one. Okay. Right. 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 But I'm going to be honest here. This is such a hot topic every time. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Yeah. My, my favorite is Vod Kilmer. Oh, right? sh- oh wait, no wait, wait. way. Uh, Battle okay. Forever for okay. me was best movie. Okay. I like Ben Affleck a lot, mm-hmm. but I, I'm not a fan of the Snyderverse. Oh, okay. Okay. Fair. Fair. So fair. for me, Bruce Wayne and Batman for me right now mm-hmm. is Robert Pattinson. Oh, damn. Um, okay. <laughs> Damn, from Val Kilmer to Kilmer to Robert Pattinson. That's that's crazy, man. That's good. And I mean that I mean that respectfully, not in a bad way. Not in a bad way. I, I like what they did with Pattinson, you know. Yeah, me too. In the yeah. bike, uh yeah. with the with the trench with the coat yeah. and you know, he, yeah. he cannot be everywhere, you know? Yeah. It's more realistic. I like yes. that idea. It's true. Batman. And they, they did a great job at bringing us a, a young Batman, a young yeah. Bruce Wayne even as well. Detective, you know, detective. Yeah, detective uh, Batman, like. fresh, new, not yeah. the Batman that we've always seen in film. And you if you're going to ask me overall, Lee Bermejo style mm-hmm. of Batman is yeah. my favorite. Nice, man. That's nice, it. dude. Nice. Hell yeah, man. Ah, that's a good one, dude. I haven't had, I don't think from what I remember off the top of my head, I don't Probably think- I'm the only one. I don't think I no no you've had, there's been Pattinson picks before and stuff but I don't I don't think I've had one for a while I don't think I, I, it's been a lot of uh, I think Affleck and then I think Keaton would be next and then Bale and then uh, when I first started asking this question though there was a lot of Pattinson for a while and I was like really surprised uh, and yeah. then that and then it died down and then I think you're the first one for a while to pick Pattinson um, but I like, I like right. every single one I like every single yeah. one yeah yeah they all have like, they all I have like, their things yeah I, yeah Keaton Batmobile. Batman, yeah. uh, Ben Affleck, uh, Keaton suit. classic. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely, man. Um, the X-Men are a hot topic right now, especially with the, the, uh, X, the success, success of X-Men 97. Uh, what are some things that you want to see the MCU do with the X-Men in film? Maybe it's, uh, you know, mutants that you want to be focused on. Maybe it's villains that you want to see portrayed. Maybe it's something you think Disney can learn from its past, you know, whether that be good or bad and apply it to or not apply it to the mutants. Uh, like, what are some things that you want to see them do in the actual live action film? I'm going to start saying that only X-Men that I like is Cyclops. Nice. Well, hey, at least it's, a, it's the favorite. leader, man. At least and, it's a good and, one. And... and these uh, cartoons they're doing right now in, in mm-hmm. Disney, yeah, they make Cyclop like Cyclop, you know. Yes, Either, exactly, you know? dude. Yeah, and and I think if they gonna do the X Men, I think they should do the main ones together, right? Right. Not yeah. not separate. I don't, I don't like that separate. Yeah. Everywhere because the X Men they're, they're a team. A team. You know? Yeah, man. We right. say exactly. They're a team. <laughs> Yeah, no, I feel you, man. I feel you. So you want you want them to, to to bring to bring Cyclops to justice, basically do him justice, and then and then and bring the the, the make a movie, the make a movie of the, the X Men. Right, I feel you. X-Men I feel you. Yeah, X Men fans will know exactly what that means when you say <laughs> make a make a movie about the X Men. Like that's solid. Not, not like they know. Yeah. No, you know. Yeah, bring it, X-Men. bring it to life this time. Yeah. Uh, last question. Uh, outside the realm of uh, pop culture and things like that, if you could time travel to any time period, any era, where would you go and why? And you can have up to three different choices. I go to the eighties. Eighties, perfect. <laughs> what a great I go time. To the eighties because in the eighties, you you uh the music. The music. Amazing. Yes, I was waiting for you to say it. Yeah. And and, and in the eighties, you you open a restaurant and you're yeah. successful. Everything, yes. everything was successful in that time. Yes, man. So, Good times. Probably dude, the, the 80s. 80s. I go back to medieval times. Yes. Just to see what they do. I feel like that's just, a, that's just a common pick amongst all men. You know what I mean? Like, I just want to see. Yeah. Just see what, what's going on here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Me too. And the Western. Western times. Hey, that's good, yeah. man. I think you might yeah. be the first one to pick Western times, dude. Yeah. From what I can I think of see, right now. I just want to see yeah. how. how to build everything, you do know? The, uh, do the draw. Oh, of course. Yeah, the standoff, you know? <laughs> Hell yeah, man. You know what's funny is uh, one of the most, uh, the, the two most common picks that everybody, every guest says when I ask them this question is the 80s and medieval times, like the medieval times. <laughs> that It's the most common picks always. And it's funny, uh, I feel like 80s actually probably gets more picked than even medieval times. Um, it goes to kind of show you how beloved of a time the 80s were. Like, best you know, cartoons, best yes, movies, best yes. music, right? I don't know. Everything was perfect. 
Yeah, everybody seemed happier, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, really, dude. Everybody seemed yeah. happier, man. Nothing complicated. No internet. Yeah, Everything exactly, good. dude. Yeah, good times, man. Good times. Well, uh, that, was, that, was a good, that was a good one, dude. That was shotgun questions. Wow. Um, let's keep it going, man. Uh, I mentioned in the intro three of your Batman suits, but you definitely have or have had uh, more than just three, obviously, but... Just speaking on those three that I did mention, you have the amazing black suit with the yellow symbol, suit by Unmasked Studio, Cal by Reeves Effects. It's simply just a great and perfect Batman look. That's and it, everybody's and it always favorite. will be. Yeah, it's That's everybody's favorite. It's one that of my top of yours too. One. Yeah, same here, man. It's it's one it's one of, in my personal opinion, one of your best suits. It's one of my favorites of yours. Um, it's it'll always be a classic, I think, for everybody. Um, then you have your more so gray suit. Uh, this one by Gaslight Co. Reeves uh, effects still on the Cal credit there, and a perfect shot by Ace Labs here that just kind of helps give that menacing look that Batman can have, just standing tall, chest yeah. out, you know, looking off into the distance. Like if you were one of his you know his his villains like that's a moment where you're like oh man like batman's coming you know what i mean like that's a that's a perfect shot perfect stance by you as well and then you have one of your more so recent iterations uh suited up by leather fashion valley uh which has that gray aspect to it yet again bringing a unique a uh, little bit of a unique take to batman to life here with previous guest and cosplay of the week ecto titan for the cal credit on this one uh looking e equally amazing man out of those three when it comes to just those three, which of those is your favorite look? But also, which is your favorite to wear? Because you may favor a look more than others, but one of the suits may be more comfortable to wear than one of the others. So the choices may not be the same. What, what, out of those three, which are your favorites? All right. So that was a learning experience for me because mm -hmm. uh, I start with muscle suits. Nice. Yeah. But I was so uh, I'm big. Mm -hmm. So the muscle suits, uh, I mean... Uh, Make you even bigger. Uh, I'll tell you, from those three, the Gaslight one is my favorite look. Nice, man. Nice. I, I, that's I like not the, what I expected. That's cool. Yeah. 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 The trunks is a nice uh, touch, man. Yeah. I like yeah. that. I like that. My most, most comfortable is the Letter Fashion Valley one. I thought so. Yeah. But I the black so. and yellow one, that's my favorite uh, symbol. The black nice. and yellow. Yeah, that, that classic yellow symbol, man. There's just something yeah. about that yellow symbol, yeah. especially on a bla all black suit. It just pops. You know what I mean? Yeah. It just pops, man. So, well, so if, if if you tell me right now, probably the black and yellow, black uh, and yellow. will be nice. my favorite uh, from all, and nice, that's a fan man. favorite right now. That's what I was going to say too. I mean, you kind of mentioned it as well, but my, my next question was also going to be like, you, obviously your favorite, but then what do you think that people favor most out of yours? Like, what do you get the most love on? Would it be that black and the black one with the yellow symbol? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. It's just a classic look, man. It's just a, it's just a classic look, dude. You, 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 you have these, um, I want to say like more so classic looks, if that's the right term, these more so, uh, I don't know if common is also the right term when it, when it comes to these suits, but, uh, I guess the, the look of them is what I'm saying. The stylization, some, some are more commonly seen, some are more, uh, you know, they have more notoriety over others, such as the black and yellow, uh, the, some of the grays, you know, they're kind of synonymous with Batman, but then you have your leather fashion Valley suit. That's a little bit more of a, a unique feel, a, a unique look, you know, alongside your white sheet leather suit that has like these armor yeah. pieces courtesy of uh loki underscore 14 u2c on instagram uh giving a, a little bit more of like a armor look to, to to a bat suit with with these two suits being something uh a little bit dare i say a little bit more out of the norm in a way than what you usually see in the cosplay community what were you going for with these iterations like i mean what was the goal was it to be different was it to try something different was the aim to be a little bit more unique like what was the process like as well did did you come up with the ideas did you have help i mean what's the what's the story behind both of these suits like i say it's a learning experience every time i i, I do a cosplay of Batman, I learn mm -hmm. and continue improving. So uh, just testing different styles. Yeah. And obviously, I got to see some Big Bird, mm -hmm. Sergeant Boy, and Exit Titan. They're, yep. they're my guidance. They're the yeah. ones that say, don't do this, do that, yep. do this, and do that. And uh, yep. the Letter Fashion Valley style uh, jumpsuits, mm -hmm. I started using that one because it's, it's favorite for my body, you know, for my, yeah. my body type. Mm -hmm. it, it gave me a good look. I don't need padding so yeah uh, look uh, and, and it's the liver mejo style is my favorite right so given that style and mm -hmm. uh and then i, I try because everybody loved the muscle suit yeah. so i said uh sergeant boy was the guy who, who told me let's let's do something like the one i have from lucky so yeah. i contact lucky we talk a lot of people do it the, the gray one so i say let's do it black 
Let's do it black. Yeah. yeah. Nobody doing yeah. black. Yeah, exactly. And then I, 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 he made it for me. I love it. I look menacing in that one. People yeah. love that suit. Yeah, I look it is. big. It is, yeah. It's it's dope, man, with the armor and everything too. And I'm sure as as we've been talking about all your Batman cosplays, there's been photos thrown up on the screen the entire time. Uh, I don't know what editing editing Chazzy has done uh, in the, in the future here, but um, uh, one that I want to highlight specifically is a photo by uh, uh, Bryland Imagery, previous guest on the show, um, and an edit as well. Um, of the more armored look that you have here. And he did such a great job with the photo and such a great job with the edit as well. Uh, just accentuating you on top of that, you know, that gargoyle that would be on a, in a Gotham, on a top yeah. of a Gotham building with the- uh, the uh, one of my stain- favorites. Yeah, dude, with the stained glass in the pictures. background, the light coming through. And then you also have something that I wanted to uh, mention uh, purposely was the, the white eyes. He put the white eyes on there for you. Yes. Um, do you, I notice it in, in, in the majority of your, of your Batman cosplays, I don't, I don't know if it's all of them hundred percent, forgive me if I'm forgetting something, but have you ever done the white eyes physically in person? Only that one, that one. Only the, only the, that the, one? Yeah. Okay. The, armor that, one, the armored one got, has got, it in person. I got, yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. I think definitely. I got it here. Give me a second real quick. Yeah. 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 A few moments later. So I have, nice. uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So it's, <laughs> it's built into the cow. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, because some people do the contacts, like the mesh contacts, you know. Some people do the the built into the cow. Some do the LED. Some is just the it's just the white yeah. lenses alone. You got just yeah, white I, lenses I, in every there. Every time, every time I take pictures with Brian, yeah, this I love it. I just let him do whatever he wants. Yeah, his edits are and, amazing too. Yeah, in the same yeah. with uh, Isla. Isla was the first photographer. I don't, mm-hmm. say, I don't say it right, right? I don't, photographer, photographer, yeah, but you're fine. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first you're fine. one. Yeah. That I contact in Puerto Rico, he says, "This is the cosplay pictures." Okay, let's do it. Yeah, so that's nice. why I stick with him. Yeah, you've been rocking me, with him since him, the we're beginning. Friends. Mm-hmm. Wow, amazing. Yeah, dude. so that's I'm dope, man. People, yeah, yeah that's a, that's a, that's dope, man. I really dig that, dude. The, these are awesome, man. From 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 the, the the black one with the yellow symbol to the to the gray one that uh, that um, that you did with with Gaslight Co. To everything in between, dude. Le- leading up to your armored one, but most recently, they're dope, man. You know, and you've been rocking these Batman cosplays for a long time, ever since I met you, of course, ever since I've been around. Um, and I gotta ask, I mean, we kind of we kind of talked about it at least when I said uh, the first three that I mentioned in the intro. But out of all of your Batman cosplays, all of them that you've done, do you have an ultimate top favorite of your own? Um, and or do you have like a top three? Like, what are your top three? Out of all of them, I think from all the suits that I have, I have one that I took pictures today. That's why I look like an Egyptian right now because <laughs> I still got the black. Yeah. So I, I, did, yeah. I, I took pictures today. I took pictures last week, and I think that's the ultimate one for me. Nice man. I'm not gonna stop probably because yeah. I love I love the community. I love cosplaying. Yeah. But this one, and, and I need to say is, I need to say thank you to uh, Season B Bird. Mm-hmm. He's the one who contacted the. Uh, Greg, Greg is the guy who uh, designed the suit. Nice. Uh, yeah, obviously pointed by uh, Season Big Bird. Mm-hmm. Uh, Exo Titan gave me the weathering. And nice. that was perfect. Nice, I think, man. I, I, think yeah, I, can, yeah. I can send you a picture so you can see it. But yeah, still, yeah. Uh, yeah, hell yeah, man. Definitely, bro. This, uh, this, y- y- you're amazing, bro. From from Captain America to to Batman to everything in between. I've, I've seen the Ghostbusters all the way down on on on, and the you know when I was doing my deep dive yeah. and everything, dude. And and to some of the stuff that we talked about here, like you're maybe the possibility of doing the thing in the future when we were, when we were doing shotgun questions. Um, I, I and and then plus you and I have had some side conversations before, and you told me some things that you've wanted to do, you know. And then I think you've also every now and then on your stories and here and there, you've posted stuff that you've you know wanted to do and everything with that being said i gotta ask like for the future of cosplay um what does that look like for you you mentioned wanting to do more cap you mentioned wanting to do the thing you know you said you're never gonna stop doing batman and stuff like that so i mean what's it what's it look like for you what do you, what's the plan you know going so, forward so this year my uh it's early stages but uh i'm gonna do a film a fan film mm-hmm from my Batman universe. Yeah. A special guy is going to be playing one of the characters. <laughs> His name is uh, Chazzy, you know? I don't know if... Uh, oh, we're getting exclusive right here. <laughs> we're letting it be known. <laughs> so, so yeah, I, I want to bring I bring to life that mm-hmm. brawler, greedy Batman, you know, darkness, mm-hmm. um, scary, yeah. more horror, horror uh, yes, type yes. of Batman. That's uh, that's my goal this year. So early yeah. stages, like I said, but... We, we, we can make it happen. And uh, if, I'm going to visit, obviously, Dragon Con. I love yeah. the con. 
Mm-hmm. I love the yeah, people. I love, yeah, I'll be there. I meet a lot of people. I love yeah. the community. I really, I really love, man. I really yeah, love how same. everybody talks about things they really like. It's yeah. like you, you yeah. do your own thing in the in the real world, and then you go to cosplay. You go, and, exactly, and it's just it's yeah. just a, a community of everybody kind of coming yeah. together for all these like minded reasons. Yeah. You know what I mean? I, I'm a fan of all Batman cosplayers. I'm yeah. a fan, man. Yeah, I love. It's just like everybody got something, man. Everybody yeah. got something freaking amazing. Yeah, and they owe, everybody adds their little twist to it. Yeah, you know I mean, I love pulls it. off I love something it. different. And then you work with you work with photographers, you work with compositors. They make these amazing edits, and everybody's yeah. has something different than everybody. We could all look at it and admire it, and then everybody's giving everybody ideas. And you see yes, something, you're yes. like, "Oh, that's cool as hell." You know it's what I mean? Like, man, yeah, it's awesome, dude. That's cool as hell, man. So the future for for cosplay for you, uh, part of it is 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 taking cosplay and and, and transitioning it into film. That's that's yeah, that's I, that's just, a just future a goal, goal that I have. I just yeah. want to bring that to life so people see another style of Batman. Nice. Uh, maybe it's good. Maybe it's not. But it'll be good. <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll make sure. I'll make sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make sure, man. What's the uh, so we know Batman is still going to be in your future, whether it just be cosplaying in general or whether it be transitioning it into film. But what's what, what's the what's cosplay look like on the Marvel side of things? Is it is it just is it obviously again the thing Captain America? But you got anything else that that you've been rummaging in your mind about that you maybe like to try to do in the future? Um, Marvel, uh, you know my favorite characters. I cannot play my favorite characters because mm-hmm. they look more amazing than me. <laughs> but I'm gonna tell you something. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm thinking about The Witcher. Oh, bro! Yes, you know and I'm a big Witcher about fan. Star Wars. I want. I want to do something about Star Wars. Oh yeah, Star Wars too, man. Star uh, Wars too, man. Then uh, maybe Wrecker. Nice, dude. Yeah, hell yeah, man. That's awesome. But bro. Marvel, I think I stick with uh with Captain America. Okay. Uh, the thing I will I will try to do it perfectly. Mm-hmm. Not perfectly, but yeah, we'll yeah. try. We'll strive for that. Yeah, and, as, uh, perfect, as perfect as you can that, that satisfies you. Yeah. you know and, what I mean? and, I, and one time one time ago, I was thinking to make a cable just because Bro. I'm getting older. <laughs> you know what? You know what's funny is like, I, I didn't want to say anything, but like, uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know why I didn't want to say anything, but like uh, when I guess I was just letting you speak for yourself. But <laughs> when I asked that, that question about like your future for Marvel, uh, and when you were talking about it, I was looking at you and I was like, bro, would make a good cable. Like, I don't know why he doesn't, why is he not you know, saying cable you right me, now? Man. You give me good questions, man. You give me, give me thinking, man. I can't Come on, bro, with the arm? Come on. <laughs> Come on, dude. Yeah, you got to do I, it now, If man. I do it, and it, it's, and you know what? Probably I will do it, you know, because mm-hmm. I always say that. And, and But if yeah. I do it, I will do it really rough, you know, with scars. Yeah, um, yeah dude. You know, yeah, man. Realistic. That'd be a good one. Yeah, that'd be a good yeah. one. You make, you make a good cable, bro. I think you should you should put that in the holster and, and maybe aim for it sometime, dude. You know what I mean? I think that'd be, I think that'd be dope, dude. See, um, can I talk to you? Can I talk to you, man? <laughs> now you're, you're going to have a list of things after this show. You're going to be like, fuck, now I got to do all this shit. <laughs> <laughs> man, it's been awesome talking to you, dude. We are going to get ready to wrap up. But before we do, man, I want to give you the floor to say whatever it is that you want to say. Plug whatever you want to plug. Uh, just whatever's on your mind, man. Man, the last few seconds is yours. Man, I just want to say um, keep cosplaying. The community is amazing. And uh, I'm a fan of everybody. And cosplay is a multiverse when you can see your favorite characters bring to life. So uh, I love the community. I love you, man. You, you're doing with the show, everything oh, you do. I love you, man. Thank you, man. Big Bird is just like yep. my little brother. I love this guy. I love Extra Titan. The phones me. Uh, the, all the people that when I started uh, bring me, you know, this joy to be a yeah. uh, part of this community. So yeah. I'm good. I love it. Definitely, if you see man. me everywhere, just talk to me. I'm, dude, I'm approachable as far. Uh, I was yeah. going to... Oh no, you're good. You're good. I've dropped. I've dropped. I, it's fine. It's all. It's explicit here. You're good. <laughs> so you want to do everything? Just, 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 just talk to me, man. Send me a DM. Yeah. yeah. Let the people know uh, if they if they do want to hang out with you in person, get some photos or get some collabs or anything. What conventions you may be at this year? Uh, Dragon Con. That's the one I'm. Dragon Con. Let's I, do I'm it, man. thinking to go to uh, cosplay the one uh, the in the beginning. You're saying the intro. Oh, uh, oh, cosplay world. Cosplay world yeah, in Virginia. I was gonna, yeah. I'm probably gonna try to go, but I'm not yeah. gonna be cosplaying. It's just gonna be like uh, oh, just like to come. Mean, you know. <laughs> I'm just gonna but, be a civilian. I'm just gonna be but, there hanging out. <laughs> yeah, but but, but dry on come for sure, for sure. Oh man, you you, you gotta come in. You gotta bring it. Bring your cat, bro. <laughs> it's just, when, I, when I went to Dragon Con the first time, mm-hmm. this, the first time I'm, I fell in love with with the people. You know. Oh, it's Dragon um, Con's the one, bro. You yeah, know what I mean? The it's, second time, yeah. I met a lot of people from Instagram that I'm, I was a fan, like yeah. Sack Attack. I was a fan of Sack yeah. I am a fan of him. Uh, Bobby Colling, I'm a fan. Mm-hmm. Sadala, obviously. Yeah. Amalia. Mm-hmm. Tahir. I mean, yeah. 
I'm a lot of people, man. I mean, yeah. It's a lot of people. I cannot mention every single one. And I know they're going to be mad because I don't yeah. mention every single one. <laughs> no, I think we know, all know. I have I that trouble too. Yeah. Time. A lot, a lot so, of those uh, that you mentioned are also previous cosplays of the week and previous guests on the show. So, no, and amazing people, man. Yeah, man. Also, I mean, oh, good times, man. Good times. Yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's cool, all, man. man. Thank you Hell for everything. Yeah, of course, bro. Of course. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're not following OB Arkham by now, you should be at O.B underscore Arkham, spelled exactly how it sounds on Instagram, and uh, continue checking out everything that he does, bro. It's been absolutely awesome having you on, dude. Uh, I'm going to be at Dragon Con myself, so I'll see you there, of course. Um, and, if, and if I see you before then, then it'll be at Cosplay World Con, man. Uh, uh, such a great time, bro. I welcome you back in the future. We'll let some time go by, let some things happen, let some new cosplays come out. Maybe that film that, you know, the thing that we're working on behind the scenes, maybe that'll come out by then. And we'll we'll have we'll have maybe we'll have everybody involved. Maybe we'll do like something different, right? Maybe have everybody I involved I, I on the show that's, at the same that's one time. Of my goals. Yeah, that's we one of my goals. do that as many as we can. Um, yeah. yeah, man. Ob Arkham on Instagram. Go follow him, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and everybody that's tuning in right now. Thank you for watching, for liking, for commenting, for sharing, for doing all those beautiful things that you do over on YouTube.com/slash Side Project Podcast. When you go down, you hit that big red subscribe button. When you do, it goes up, uh, and you get 100 sexy project points. Thank you for listening and watching on Spotify. As videos are available on Spotify as well. When you go and you follow and you rate and you do all those things that you do, I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. If you're looking for me, you can find me on Instagram at I G hates Chazzy and everywhere else you need to follow me is on the screen right about now. It's not clickable, but it is clickable in the description. You click the description, you go down, you can click whatever you want. You can go wherever you want. If you're looking for the podcast as a whole on Instagram, you can find it at side project podcast. Remember that's project with a K for me, for OB Arkham, we are out of here.